I took my wife, my daughter-in-law, my grandchildren to show them the tiger in the jungle. And one of my alumni of Delhi College of Engineering was, of course, the collector of that area. He said, I'll show you beautiful tigers. Why don't you bring your grandchildren? So we go there. Early morning, we go deep into the forest. The fellow knew where the tigers are found sitting every morning. Before sunrise, you got to go. That particular day, not a single tiger. All disappeared. And I had to take my train to return to Delhi. And then my grandson said, Dada, why don't you call Goddess or Lord Krishna to help us out and we see a tiger? Because we are not going to have this opportunity again. We have to return to Singapore after a few days. The immediately it clicked to my mind that if you need tiger in an emergency or urgency, where would you get it from? From someone who has them. So I called Goddess Durga Ji that you must be relaxing, it's early morning. Not much work at this moment. Why don't you send your tiger, at least for a view of my grandchildren? And I just prayed. And my daughter-in-law, my wife, my grandchildren, they said, let's see how Dada's prayers are granted. So I told the driver of the jeep that take a U-turn and follow the same path, go to the place exactly where you thought tigers were sitting every day, you will find two beautiful tigers. They said, okay, Dada, let us see your vice chancellorship today, after all. Nothing happened. He went on driving, driving, because in the jungle you can't trace exactly the route you have taken, so he must have taken one wrong turn. Ultimately, we came to our guest house, no tiger. And I was full of dust, because after all, in the jungle you don't have the roads of the kind which we have here in Bangalore. They said, what happened to your prayers? And I was just washing my hands, suddenly comes rushing the messenger. He said, Shaw, two beautiful tigers have come to give darshan to your grandchildren. I said, where are they? I thought they are just at the main entrance. They're just behind our, our guest house. And we have asked them to remain there, come up. We go there on top of two elephants, because you can't go to tiger just like this and shake hand. So we took two, two elephants, one on which I was sitting and my wife was sitting, the other one, grandchildren, their mother, and my daughter was sitting. Two beautiful tigers facing each other, looking at us, saying, thank you very much, sir, and thank you for bringing your grandchildren. Believe me, we had the, one of the best view of looking at two beautiful tigers. Hey, what God can do anything? It's a question is, can you, can you connect to yourself too? And we thank God as Durga Ji, for sparing two beautiful tigers, one must be belonging to her, another one belonging to another sister. What's the problem? I mean, you get it. Only question is, do you have the capability to connect and establish that vital hot line of connectivity with Lord Krishna, with God else, or whatever? That is the context in which science and spiritual quest has to be seen together to develop capabilities and adore values of the kind which is required to do so. I'm not trying to boost my own capability. I'm only giving you one live example that I was put to corner and at least two tigers came to save me from disaster. 